This is a suction, considered a suction side cleaner. This right here is a creepy crawly. This one is actually hooked up with the canister in front into the skimmer. It was hooked directly up to the skimmer, so when the pump is on, the cleaner is always working. And it, you, it, just imagine this being like your manual vacuum. Hook up your pool six to eight hours a day, and that's the suction side cleaner. It works off the pool pump suction. This is why these suction side cleaners are so efficient is because it's like having your vacuum hooked up and it's constantly cleaning your pool all day long while the system is running. That's why I like this particular cleaner the best, the suction side cleaner. There's another suction side cleaner, G2, and it's hooked actually into a, we refer to as a side port. It's a line plumbed into the side of the pool. It's a separate suction line that allows the skimmer to continue to work while the cleaner's working. So why the pool is on, the automatic cleaner line is this one here, and here's the skimmer line. Both are pulling water through the pump and through the filter. So that's how the cleaner actually works. It uses the existing system to kind of pull water through the cleaner and that propels it along the pool. And in most cases, a regular in-ground pool should have a, a pump sufficient enough to pull a suction side cleaner. Usually the lowest horsepower I've seen on a in-ground pool is 3 fourths horsepower and it has sufficient horsepower to pull the cleaner along no problem in most cases. So if you have a regular standard pump like this, you should have no problem hooking up a suction side cleaner to your pool. Okay, this is another type of cleaner. It's the pressure side cleaner and this is the Polaris. And you can either run this off a separate booster pump, which this particular Polaris runs off of, or just a return line. And I'll show you the return line uh, Polaris later. And here's the booster pump that is used to shoot high pressure water to propel that particular Polaris cleaner. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it on. And you'll see the Polaris in action. If you're having your pool constructed and you have a lot of debris in your area, definitely install a Polaris pressure side cleaner. Here it is, close. This is the Polaris 360 non-booster pump. It hooks into the return line. And how this one operates, you have to actually close off or restrict the other return lines for it to be effective. To have enough pressure. So the main amount of water from the pump returning to the pool comes through this line here and propels the Polaris 360. So again you need to have thread, threaded wall fittings for this to work and it moves just by having the bulk of the return pressure propelling the cleaner. And as you can see from this pool, this oak tree above it, it definitely needs this type of cleaner. This pool is old, doesn't have a side port and I need the skimmer open to collect the debris on top. So this is an ideal pool for a pressure side cleaner. So the pressure side cleaner set up correctly is very effective and pull with lots of debris. And as you can see from this, um, I don't really want to close the skimmer off the pressure side cleaner because this is one week's worth of debris. So it definitely needs that return side cleaner to keep the skimmer going. So the pressure side non-booster pump will just work off of, off of your existing uh, pool pump. There's no need for an extra pump and like I mentioned Earlier, it just redirects the return line pressure um, to that one jet specifically to propel the uh, pressure side cleaner. And the third type of cleaner that I'm going to cover is the robot cleaner. This is the Dolphin Diagnostic, and there's various other robot cleaners you can find in the market. And it runs off of a power cord that's waterproof, just like a I would liken it to like putting a vacuum in your pool that you use to clean your house. It has a power center. This particular cleaner runs for three hours and it turns itself off. And you gotta reset the power switch. And this one operates more like a tank. It has tracks and it picks up debris through there. And there's a debris bag in there that you have to clean. It's fairly heavy. So the rob robot cleaners work well. They're just a little bit uh, pricey. They may not be cost effective to throw one of these in your pool. But if you're interested in getting a robot, I would say they are a, a fairly efficient cleaner. And the drawback again is the price point. 